my oral exam on Thursday, which now I'm very scared about. We just put the little flags on the dog. <laughs> but I'm happy it's over, and that's the only thing that matters. So now Why do I always pick the hit workouts when it's like so hot? So oh, good. It is <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it's Monday the 28th of June, 11.24am and I just got up, I had a phone call with my supervisor from school for my oral exam on Thursday which now I'm very scared about um, because she said that like I need to do like a little presentation about like my report and stuff and then I knew they were going to ask questions but I thought the questions were going to be about like the report and then she said, I know they can also be about like anything marketing related, but so I'm scared about that because I had it in school as well for my oral exam. And it was my least favorite exam, although I scored the best in it, but like I always get super nervous. Hate it. So now I'm just getting ready for skincare, and I also got a phone call after that um, about a potential job I might be starting next week at the German Red Cross. However, I thought, like, I knew it started from July, but now I didn't expect that I have to come twice before. So now I've got tomorrow and on Men's Day, um, like, an appointment where I need to meet them. But it doesn't really fit me because I've got my oral exam on Thursday and then I also need to schedule the presentation with, like, my company. And I don't know when that is going to be because I think this week might be a little too, like, last minute. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get probably dressed because this is actually too warm. Get ready, do my eyebrows, and update you when there's something interesting to update you about. Cause okay, slice in the day now. It's um, around two o'clock actually. I had some tortilla de patatas. The rest of it from yesterday with a bit of ketchup. Um, and now it's gotten really cloudy, and I think there's a thunderstorm going on later, but it's still quite warm. Um, so I think I might like go on a run later or do a workout or I started learning the confetti choreography and I know like the me teaching or making like a tutorial for like little mixed dancers is like one of the most popular things on my channel so I thought maybe if I'm done with worky bits um, I will continue learning that so I'm uploading one vlog now I want to get another one edited and scheduled I think maybe for like Thursday or something so I have like a second weekly vlog going up because otherwise they're too much too late, delayed um, and then I will send the photos and do some other bits and bobs that is just on my to-do list um, and then I thought I would do that because I'm kind of in the mood to like move but also I'm not sure if it's going to rain I don't want to walk or like run through the rain so I thought like a bit of dancing could also be a nice work um, like warm up to my workout so I might do this after and also I'm so I couldn't sleep so much yesterday I actually went and got like a diet coke <laughs> next to my coffee so that's how today is going five more minutes and then the weekly vlog is up so you can check that one out that's the epic workouts um out for food and thesis update weekly vlog number 11 from this year so I'm sorry that they delayed but I literally I prior prioritized obviously my thesis over editing so that's why they're so delayed but I still filmed so you can appreciate that so because a lot of people when they're doing stuff like that they don't have time to even film or vlog so at least appreciate that I still shared my life with you in that stressful time period mostly so <laughs> that's that but um yeah I'm gonna update you later when I'm dancing <laughs> okay I thought it would give you a little update on Tuesday the talk for my potential new job and honestly, the work itself sounds like nice and you're helping people, which I'm all up for and I love. Um, especially because you can help them in this like whole situation where I feel like a lot of people don't feel too well anyway. So I really like that part of it. But it's 30 hours a week, which is a lot. Um, and it's fine if you don't need to do anything else next to it also because i still got some uni things left at least here in july 
I feel like it could be a bit stressful and it's already start on Monday and I'm a bit like, ah. So I don't really know if I want to say yes. But then again, I'm like, it's only for three months. So even if I don't like it, I could do one month and then quit. So I'm not sure how to handle that. Come here. Oh, doggy. <laughs> Oh, when I came Yeah. Yay! Oh. Shake! Yeah. 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 Lads. Lads. Oh, oh. Lads. We just put the little flags on the dog. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Ja, das ist Oh, sie hat's abgemacht. Du hast es abgemacht. Was sollte das denn? Why are you taking it off? I just wanted to take a photo. Mensch. Die ist das doch. Die kriegt das nicht runtergeschluckt. Komm her. Sie hat es aber abgemacht, selber. Ach, guck mal. Zula, hier. Zula. Wie das aussieht, die Flaggen so. Danke. Jam Spirit. Change the shirt. Oh, nicht der Pillan. Oh. Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Little doggy is here. And I'm... Stop it. Why are you going to the bin? I emptied it. There's nothing in there. Anyway, I... Oh, look at her. Look at yourself. You can see yourself in the viewfinder. Oh, baby. <laughs> anyway, I'm just working on my presentation for tomorrow and I'm so nervous. And it's only supposed to be 15 minutes. But I feel like I'm talking too much, like I didn't practice it, I just got the slides and I already got 20 slides. Which means I've got less than a minute per slide, which is not good. But I know that there's a couple of slides where we talk more, more and others less, so... If I'm really nervous, I just keep up like messing my word, messing up my words, so I'm just like... Even speaking about it, I already have this like weird feeling in my stomach, you know this like... When you just got a bit of pain in your stomach, but it's not really pain. It's just like the nervousness and anxiety of the presentation or like exam. Oh, and I heard it's not hard that it's really close to your report, but especially because I'm not 100% like confident in my results because my interviews got um, like cancelled. I feel like it's a bit shitty, but then again, I could say that because that was out of my hands. So I'm a bit like. Mm. And then also my car's not working properly and I need to go uh, around like half past three to go to the working thing where they're showing me my new workplace and what I need to do. And that's also, that's like about an hour that will be gone from my time practicing. So I want to get the presentation done now. It's around two o'clock. And then I want to practice it and then make notes. Okay, welcome to oh, Thursday. I just had my oral defense interview thingy for my thesis. Uh, it didn't go as well, but I knew that. And my grade is also not really high, but that is due to the fact that my interviews got canceled. So I can't really do anything about that. So they told me um, that I always had to work with what I got given, so to say. So that's why the grade is low, but they said I also did the best that I could. So there wasn't really a chance of me getting a higher grade than I did now but I'm happy it's over and that's the only thing that matters so now I'm going to um Bielefeld to go shopping <laughs> and forget about this thing and it's raining and bushing it down and I haven't got a jacket on but we're just winging it I don't care you know so you know what I'm actually gonna listen to Julie and the Phantoms because why not it to the front and we're off guys Woo! <laughs>
I kind of love this, but I'm not sure. It looks really nice, and the material is really stretchy. But I'm just, you can see a bit of my underwear here, so I'm not 100% sure. Otherwise, I think it looks great. Hmm. Kind of cool, you know, like you don't know what to dress as. Put this on and you're all set. So, kind of like it. Hmm. Not sure. I think I will leave it, but it's kind of really cool. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's five o'clock. I literally, I went um, and I didn't even have breakfast. I had a coffee and that was it. Um, and then we ate some pizza at Pizza Hut and to be honest I didn't really find much but that is always the case if I really badly want to go shopping and I have something in mind that I need or want I never find it and that was the case because like one and a half weeks ago or something I was browsing the Zara website or like the app and I found lots of really cool stuff but all of the stuff was either not in my size or they didn't have it available because a lot of the stuff was on sale and the things I found good were usually the ones like of the new collection but i got a few basic things so i'll show you so i got this little this is not from zara this is bershka so i got a few little crop tops um because i was needing them when i don't want to wear bralettes as like a top so i got a black one because i only got one other in black and a cream one thought this would look nice this actually also matches really well i think the other trousers that i got to the blouse um, and this is also a nice material because it's like this elastane, which I really love because it's really stretchy. And they had a similar top at Zara, I think, or Stradivarius, I'm not sure. But you could see like everything through it and this is double so you don't need a bra underneath. Which is nice because I like to wear tops like that. Um, and you see a theme, we got a lot of crop tops and basic tops but I don't mind. So then I had this as well. Because I needed a few fresh tops that you don't have like any marks on or anything. So I got that as well. Just if you want to wear it. Then I got a white sports bra that I also thought I could wear as a top. But I just like it in summer to have a new one. Because um, some of them are too small that I have. Um, because I got a bit bigger. Um, and then I also got some underwear. Because this actually this also looks nice as a bikini. got to be honest. So... I have this this is a bralette i have in dark green but this is one size bigger so this is a small and the other half is extra small which is a bit too small and then i also got some underwear and brazilian cut to it because that's the one i prefer and it's hair-waisted like high leg i might actually try this on you know um yeah and i thought that would be nice i could also wear as a bikini because i really like the material it's like this really light gray minty green color and i just really like it i think changed the angle today Ooh, it's friday i just got ready out of the shower um i cleaned oops cleaned my room i did the laundry and all that jazz also hoovered the corridor and everything upstairs because it was full of hair from the dog honestly a dog is worse than like a cat honestly like get cat people if you don't like hair um so i'm kind of doing like a little pamper reset session so i worked out so i'm feeling great doing my skincare right now then i'm gonna blow dry my hair nice and straight i want to be all glammed up and nice and fresh for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going out for dinner to celebrate my thesis passing Ooh. so excuse my hair i just need to let it air dry a little bit before i brush it because apparently your hair breaks easier if you brush it when wet but you also want it to blow dry it straight you need all the nuts out so it's kind of a little bit hard but um yeah i'm gonna moisturize and then i'm gonna tint my eyebrows which is a difficult job because i'm wearing a white top and cream trousers so I need to be careful but let's just hope it all goes well and if you ever like dye your eyebrows or your hair and you have 
a place where the paint shouldn't go or the colour. Like here, for example, when you're doing your hairline or something, put Vaseline on it because then you can just wash it off. Okay, we're ready. I found this necklace. I'm not sure if I had it on when I was speaking to you. I don't think so, but um, it's a necklace that I got from my grandmother a while back. And it really, like, these, like, chain necklaces are back in trend. And I think it's real gold. And I really like it. Also, that my eyebrows, they're a bit dark. But look at my eyelashes. They are popping off. I just used an eyelash curler and the rest is literally just me, like, dyeing them. So, really can recommend doing that. They just, I mean, my nose looks huge, but like, just looks nice, doesn't it? To be honest, I don't really know what I want to do now with my day. I think I'm going to continue reading a book that I was reading. I, uh, let me see what it's called. I think it's Everything But You. That's what it's called. Um, and I read it on Amazon Kindle and it's really good because it was a really major, like, um, not cliffhanger, but like turnaround point quite at the beginning of the book um, and I was really shocked so I continued reading until like I think 11 o'clock but it's so like gripping that I want to continue reading but it's a love story so I'm not sure if you're into that but it's really good um, and I think later on I'm just going grocery shopping with my mum there's nothing really else we're... I've got planned to be honest okay it's later in the day it's actually already seven o'clock. I didn't really do anything interesting. But I was just looking at what to have for dinner because it's literally already seven o'clock. But I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping before. But I wanted to share a little life out with you because I've got this like recipe book from my grandma. Um which is where I write down like stuff that I like. However, if you are in the mood to like eat something but you don't know what you want to make, I can really recommend making like a list with like things you like and you know how to do just to have an overview of like all your meals in one place kind of like if you were to do like a table of content of your like own recipe book if that makes sense but i don't have that so i actually have it in here this was my notes and then i made it to like a proper one here so basically i have like breakfast snacks light meals slash lunches and then filling meals which i usually have for dinner and i can just look at it for example, here we have Asian one pot pasta, which is the recipe I follow by Vegan Heaven, one of my favourite meals, as well as a quick lentil soup, which is what I'm going to have, I think, tonight, um, or cashew carbonara pasta, a veggie um, lasagna, homemade pizza, my schnitzel burger that I had the other day, which is basically just putting like one of those ready-made vegan schnitzels on like a bread with ketchup and stuff and salad and you have a burger. But stuff like that. So right now I was craving like food and I didn't know what to make. And I just looked at that and I was like, oh, I could do a pea soup. Then I saw a lentil soup because I thought mm, I'm a bit hung really hungry right now. I don't feel like a soup is not enough. And I thought, okay, I could do the lentil soup that has like potatoes and like protein in it. Um, or I could make it in the like meal prep it for like next week for work. So I kind of have like a couple of meals that I now want to go grocery shopping for, which is what I usually do. So okay i didn't update you but i just honestly i wouldn't even have vlogged much now but i just want to tell you about the film that we just watched so we watched a film on netflix called izzy and ozzy and i just randomly picked it because we found this like random like comedy romantic movie called izzy and ozzy and honestly it, is, it was so funny and like a thousand times better than i expected it to be like it was from the level there up with like other german comedy like fuck your goethe or um like town found like that kind of stuff um and we watched it and it was so nice and it was about like a rich girl like whose parents are millionaires and she wants to like wants to go like cook it, to cooking school in new york and then because she's mad at them she like sets up this like random boxer dude who's like from a really like poor family and like from other circumstances um to like play her boyfriend um but then they kind of get to know each other more and I tell you too much but it's like so good and what's so so funny like my kind of humor um and really fast space especially pa fast paced in the beginning especially because 
when I watch a movie, I really need to be interested right from the beginning, because otherwise, especially on Netflix, if I'm on my phone or something on the side, like, you have to keep me interested. And it was so quick in the beginning, I think I, I didn't even pick up on all, like, the, like, you know, catchy little things they said because I said some stuff to my mom my mom said some stuff back to me that you just couldn't pick up us at, at it so fast but it was so funny I can really recommend it to everyone who's German Leute guckt euch easy und Ozzy auf Netflix an es war so geil so witzig echt 10 out of 10 good morning it's the next day and I'm about to line the sun I'm wearing this like lovely um it's actually I think underwear it was meant to be underwear but I really like it as a bikini. It's like these high waisted, um, yeah, shorts, whatever you want to call them. Um, and this bralette thingy, I've got this in a darker green as well. But I like this colour more because it's light. And I actually wanted it in white, but they didn't have white. But I feel like this I can also wear easily under t shirts and then this necklace from my grandma. I actually slept in this. But it's now actually pretty warm. It's only saying that's 22 degrees, but the sun is out, so it feels warmer. So I'm gonna go and lie in the sun for a bit. Guys, it's four o'clock, and I just started my Enum HIIT workout, which is day 45 of the EPIC program of Caroline. I literally am six minutes 43 in the video, and I can't breathe. That's the hardest thing. It's like burpees, lunch jumps and squat jumps or like the first one 10 then 20 then 10 and I'm not even doing the jumping bit I'm doing low impact but it's so hard especially because I trained legs yesterday which I wasn't meant to do but guys it's so hard especially in the seat but I'm gonna do it Why do I always pick the hip workouts when it's like so hot? Oh, I feel like I could have done better. But then I eat and drink before, which is also not the best. And I feel bloated because I drank so much water. Okay, what do I need to do? Okay, well, hello. I have to be quick because my battery is flashing. But that was really hard. I'm still sweating and I did the Julie and the Phantoms dance workout after. Because the abs part wasn't too hard, so after I was done with that, I felt like, okay, I can do more if it's not abs. So I did that just for a bit of fun, but now I'm going to shower. Um, and I think, depending on how hot it is, either lie in the sun again a bit, or go for a walk with Zula, because she hasn't been, like, out, out, like, she has been in the garden, for, like, the whole day. But I don't think anybody went a proper round with her before we go out for dinner, she needs to go. So... I think that's what I'm gonna do. I also don't know, I mean I won't wash my hair but I'm not sure if I just leave it in these or if I need to make it a bit wet and then blow dry the sweat out of it. I'm not sure but I did it. Ooh. <laughs> Proud of myself. Okay I just got dressed in this outfit. I wanted to first wear my like sheer trousers but they got a couple of like um what you call like spots in them that like are dirty so I need to give them like a hand wash or something and then I thought that's also better because I kind of want to wear them for my graduation ceremony like the whole suit thing with this top um, and because we're going out for Cory I think that's a better way because I'm scared that I won't get any of the stains out and to be honest this is also kind of risky but we're being careful but these weren't as expensive as the other trousers so yeah I'm also I still want to get these in black and I oh this battery is also flushing love that for me but anyway i wanted to get those in black and i made a massive zara order 
and I forgot to order these but anyway it's my look before the battery goes off I actually decided to put some effort in my makeup today I hope you can tell I did some eyeshadow and I'm actually wearing lipstick I need to reorder this lipstick because I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore but this is my one favorite matte nude lip color from Revlon I listened to the whole Soa album while getting ready and now I've got a earworm of I hope you're okay no not I hope you're okay a happier hope that you're happy but don't be happier I love that album so much but here you can tell my makeup maybe hang on there we go that's better so I mean my eyebrows are a little dark I did an insta story yesterday as well I dyed them and I feel like they're a bit dark also here's a little gap but I don't have an eyebrow pencil that I like can fill it in with only eyeshadow and you're not meant to use warm toned eyeshadows for your eyebrows so I would rather just keep them like this but I feel like we're looking banger so the outfit is now this I need to go back way back so you can see me but I'm loving it I only don't know what where shoes to wear I am missing white sandals I got black ones but like with this outfit black doesn't really go and I wanted to take my vintage Louis Vuitton back so I'm not sure I think I'm gonna wear my Air Force trainer so we'll start like down dressing the whole outfit also not sure if I need a jacket hmm I like the cardigan more because this just really dresses it down like as a film like I don't know going on a picnic and not chic out for dinner and I think we're just gonna wear the cardi you know like an off the shoulder moment and then if it gets cold I can actually wear it but right now it's still quite warm so I think we can just go with the cardigan getting these socks but yeah I'm really excited for the Indian I have not been there I think in a year the last time I went I was actually there with my other friend also during the pandemic but was that during the pandemic though? I think it was last summer. Could also be the summer before to be honest. I'm not sure. But this is my look. I really love these tops, you know. Not wearing a bra. You don't see anything. They hold everything in place. And they just look cute. Got that in black as well. So, gonna go now. And I'm gonna show you the food because I'm taking my camera. And hopefully I remember to vlog a little bit of the vlog of the food because it's lovely who's back in the time yeah back in the time and you were Little Prezi from Sabrina. Yeah. Ooh, Wassermelone. Oh. Das kenne ich ja gar nicht. Summer Edition Jai. Das klingt aber lecker. Oh, das ist aber geil. What am I? Was ist denn das dann? Sekt? Jai? Oder ist es was? Das ist wie Hugo. Ah. Watermelon Sekt Hugo thingy. Das aber lieb. Oh, süße und Schokolade. Cookie dough. Schatzi, Mensch. Oh, oh. Können wir es denn? Ich kann Puderbrat anschauen. Ja, okay. Alles gut. Was? Guck mal so deine Kamera jetzt an. So, ja. Vielleicht nicht für dich. Ach, ist das so ein Luftkühler Ding? Aber es kühlt, aber es pustet. <lacht> Immerhin. Ich denke. Der ist aber cool, weil der ist so länglich. Und ich, dass es Platz wegnimmt, das ist gut. Ja, da war der Zimmer, Pustet, wo das so heiß war. Ja. 50 war es. Ja, gut, dann machen wir ein paar Eiswürfel rein, dann ist es kalte Luft. Patrick hat immer ein nasses Tuch da vorne gehängt. Da kommt die Feuchtigkeit durch die Luft. Ach, das ist auch gut. Ja, ich dachte letztens, war die so warm oben. Ich Aber denke. bei mir ist auch richtig heiß dann, weil dann ja. ist abends genau knallt die Sonne da rein, wenn du schlafen möchtest. Mhm. Cool, danke schön. Okay, we're back home. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. Last bit of me unpacking this. I actually am thinking of 
trying this out now because I'm quite hot. Um, because it has been quite warm all day and also in the car, so I'm a bit like, <gasps> could also be the material off the top. But honestly, I'm so excited for this. Honestly, this can go in my drink collection in my cupboard. But this is watermelon. I didn't know it ex this uh, exists because um, my brother has a friend that I'm meant to be going to a Harry Styles concert with. And I was thinking to do like a little Harry Styles package for when we go or like do a fun Harry Styles party once, you know, the whole situation has been normal again. Because that would be so fun. Imagine you just do a theme party on like Harry Styles. You only play Harry Styles music or One Direction music and you all dress up as Harry or bring something that you could make like a watermelon cake that like Dr. Utka has. This, you can drink vodka. You can, because you know, only the insiders will understand that. Um, and like, I think that would be great, to be honest. So this can go in my little collection here we also got that wine we got ginger ale we got pink gin i've got a good amount of alcohol here once the club opens i'm gone really i really want to go out again and i'm not even a person to go clubbing but like i miss going to parties especially house parties you know for, like tell me if i'm wrong but i personally when I was in school, I always preferred the house parties over like actual clubbing because I'm a person, I enjoy the social side of it more than like actually the partying. So I enjoy more getting to know the people or chatting to people rather than like singing and dancing, which I also love if I love the music, but normally the club music is not my thing. So that's why I'm more of a party girl, you know, then I can listen to my other music and I'm happy. Um, but yeah, that was my vlog. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to... I don't think I will film anything tomorrow. So I think I will edit the... Edit? I will end the weekly vlog here. And then edit it tomorrow so I can get it up with the rest of the still missing weekly vlogs quite soon. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Why can't I speak? Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down there. But... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good night. I'm gonna end it. Good night. Have a fun day. In case you're watching it in the morning. I don't know. That's it. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>